Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Conjuring House. And in the first episode of it, we got pretty much just the, got the game started up. We explored this house a little bit uh, to find out that this is the darkest house in the world. <laughs> we, uh, we don't have a flashlight, which we're going to have to spend some time looking for that, I'm assuming. 90% um, of the doors that we've encountered so far are locked. Uh, and we just don't really seem to know what we're doing just yet, but we'll figure it out. So, here we go. Nothing seems to stop this demon woman. We are trapped, the group has scattered, and we cannot leave this house. The only way, that I, could f uh, the only way I could find is to create a safe area where the demon cannot get inside, waiting for a solution to eliminate it once and for all. One last thing. If you enter a safe area, be sure to close the door behind you. Blake Williams. So wait a minute, you mean to tell me that even if I go in here, the thing could still kill me anyways if I don't close the door? <laughs> God. Some safe room, I guess. Definitely not taking a page out of the Resident Evil book where as soon as you go in there, the thing is just gone. But hey, what are you going to do? So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we had to have missed something towards the beginning of this game. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I feel like worse I feel like there had to be like a piece of a map or maybe the flashlight we missed it in like a drawer or something I mean we, we didn't really look at drawers so maybe that's a thing that we can do I, I just I feel like we've gone too far into this without having some kind of like identifier to give us an idea of where we're going so that's what we're gonna do um, in the in the early goings here is to try to figure out <laughs> if by some chance we we missed something um so we'll we'll work our way through that so i'm just trying to remember how the hell i even get back to the beginning of this freaking house to begin with i think we're on the right track though yeah this looks kind of familiar if, if i remember right the the main foyer is right here okay <laughs> i wonder if we could just walk out the front door <laughs> That would be the most anticlimactic thing in the no, world. No, 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 no. Oh. What the? Oh, what is this? Flaming Hot Cheetos. Let's go. It absolutely oh, hurts the roof of my mouth, though. This wall wasn't here before. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess this is kind of what I expected. It would have been way too easy to just be able to walk straight out. Okay, so we got... We got the Scorpio key in there. Yeah, we also have this objectives list. We got to find the five artifacts, which, you know, I said in the first episode, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be a thing if the fifth artifact was us, like the person investigating the building? And when I was thinking about it later, what if the fifth artifact was just the house itself? That'd be a real doozy. We just have once we get everything else, we just have to find a way to destroy the house, of which. The house never wants you to destroy it, so go figure. Uh, we also never went up here either, so... Oh, great. <laughs> Another key to find. That sounds awesome. Another box to open. Yeah, we also... There's a ton of these little footlocker boxes for us to try to open. So we'll see if that pays off at any point. It doesn't look like we can do anything up here for right now, and that's I'm okay with that. So, yeah, I'm thinking we we when we were initially investigating this place, we didn't I didn't really check drawers. I did, there wasn't really a thing that I really thought to do. Um, but there's a lot of these little little uh, you know things around. So you would think at least one of them's got something for me in it. Um, another place that we didn't investigate either was also the Tendrils Hallway. So, you know, that sounds great. Um, you know what? Why not? Oh, God, it's so gross. <laughs> like, naturally we're not supposed to go in here, right? Like, th this, this is purely a horrible idea. It's too dark here. I need a flashlight. Okay. Well, at least the game's telling me now that I need it. I'm also 
very happy that he told me he doesn't want to go in there without a flashlight. So that's very good news. Um, okay. <sighs> maybe we're onto something. Maybe the maybe the flashlight's like right down here. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just terribly far away. We're getting no closer whatsoever. It is pretty astonishing that we've gone this far through the game and have not gotten uh, a source of light to work with. It's pretty crazy. Okay, we got the Aries on the door. What about this? Another door that's locked from the inside. It's pretty crazy that this house has been well, seemingly abandoned for as long as it has been, and like every door is locked from the other side. Just all of them. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what is she doing? She's just standing there. Menacingly! Um... Like... She's not moving. <sighs> this is gonna be a bad idea. We're early enough into the game where I don't feel bad if she just rips my head off and wears it like a Halloween mask. Oh, okay, okay, okay. all right. What's that? <laughs> my bad. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to interrupt. I will go away now. Okay. Well, we got literally nothing out of that experience. So. Remind me to never go there again. Um, okay, we need to start. We need to start looking in drawers whenever there, whenever the chance uh, presents itself. We need to start looking in drawers for stuff because there's gonna be something somewhere, and I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I if I don't do my due diligence here. So like here, are there any here? No. What about in here? We're just going to have to kind of go one by one through everything to make sure. And I'm okay with that. What about over here? Oh, see? Okay, so there are, there are drawers that we can look in. This one doesn't have anything, but that's good. That means that at some point, there will be something in one of these. about here? More? Okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. I want to kind of look in this general area first. Another footlocker. Boy, I really hope that there's good stuff in those. For, with as uh, gratuitous as they're being with them. Okay. Is there anything on the ground? Like, are these bottles worth anything? No. God, it is just, it is so dark in here. I think that's what makes it so hard to kind of investigate these rooms, is that they're so poorly lit. Okay, so that door is stuck. Did we check this other side? I think this just goes back over here. Okay. Um, okay, and we went through here. Alright. Just trying to make my progressions here. And then, obviously, we can go that way. But I don't want to go that way just yet. Okay, we already tried that door, so let's try this one. Locked from the inside. I can't tell what is down here. I'm assuming it's nothing good. Okay, so another door that we can't get into. A Libra? Great. Yet another key to find. This laundry list is getting pretty big. <laughs> Good God. Okay, now we can go here. At some point, there's got to be something. Okay, and this was the door... Yeah, this was when the door slammed shut on its own. I remember that. Yep, and there's nothing down there. Ok, 
Okay, what's in here? Okay, so that's where the save room is that we started from. That's good to know. Okay, and this was the hallway where we saw quote-unquote Robert. That door has a padlock on it. We can't even see anything in there, so I'm assuming there's nothing there. Let's see, that was the room... This was the room that had Plague Mask Guy in it, and also like a safe that we can't access. Okay, so I'm thinking whatever... Whatever we're gonna be getting into, it's gotta be down here, I guess. We already checked down there, and I don't think we can go any further with that. So maybe we gotta go this way? It's gotta be something, man. Okay, what have we here? Oh! What's this? Oh, I must have missed this when I came here. Did I ever come in here? If I came in here, I just blatantly missed this key. Huh? What? The hell? Great. The ghost kids. They're keeping me away from the damn key. <laughs> Why can't it just be easy, man? I'm gonna get it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna like this one bit. The Ares key. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy! Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Boy, I'm not coming out. If you're right above me, I, I'm not coming out from down here. Except for the part where I'm gonna have to at some point. Oh god. Whoa! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what the hell was that all about? <laughs> All right. Well, whatever came of that, uh, you're probably not happy now that you got crushed by the dining room table. <laughs> Holy shit! That was nuts! Okay. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, we've done it now. We have done pissed off the whole house. That's just great. Okay, so that's a that's the Taurus one. Great, now we get to find the Taurus key. <laughs> the old Ford Taurus. Okay, so do we have like an inventory? We have notes, we have documents, inspection. Okay, so the Ares key. Uh, oh, okay, I, that's the symbol. Oh, that's actually one of the save rooms, wasn't it? The save room in, like, the second room of the house? I'm pretty sure was the Ares symbol. That is useful. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. <sighs> Just great. Oh... Dude, the knocking, man. The knocking gets me. Another box. God, that thing is creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. Can I just pick it up and throw it through the window? And then leave? Mm, oh, boy. Against my own judgment, we go down here. Why? Okay, lock from the inside. Are there any other doors down here? No? Okay. Perfectly fine with that outcome. Okay. We've made progress, though. This is good. We are one step closer to uh, finding ourselves a working flashlight, for the love of God. Was this an Ares door? Or was this a door that we could go through at all? Oh, it's unlocked. Where does it go? 
Oh, it goes right here. Okay. That's good to know. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> okay. Now I know where we are. Let's make our way back to that save room area, or that little, uh, that one little room right inside of where we started, because at least that is a room that I know we can access. This is good. Hey, there we go. Finally, a door we can go into. Whew. I don't like that that thing disappears as soon as we get in here. Alright. This is good. We have done something useful. Now the question is, is there another Ares door around here? I don't remember where another one is. So we're going to have to... Go searching around a little bit, I suppose. Okay, she's not over there. That's fine by me. <gasps> Who are you? God, he's huge! That is a large, Robert? large man. Is that you? Where is everybody? Wait, oh, where are God. you going? Whoa! Okay. All right. <laughs> what the earth is going on here? <laughs> Who threw the Mason Miller fastball through the wall with the bird in hand? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we did find another door. Good God. If there's one thing that this game does very, very well is it's... Uh, it's sound effects work is something else. They they really know how to build up the build up the noise right at the right moment. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the, like the the padlock for the door? First number is two. Okay. That's interesting. I'm going to have to write that down, possibly. Um, okay, let's try the door and see if it opens. Okay. Okay, we are not getting through there. Uh, not at all. It was worth a try. So I say we go back out this way, or not. Okay, uh, so seemingly we're stuck here now, and that is real bad. So what do we touch? Do we touch the symbol on the wall here? Anything? No. Oh, the flashlight! Oh my god, we've done it! Hell yeah! Okay, so the flashlight was found. Uh, there's a number written on the wall. There is. Oh, the other numbers have been erased. Oh, you and that's a padlock. Maybe it's connected with the lock code that I found on the door. Yeah, see, he's, but he's got it. Who drew this? And why? That is a great question. Okay. Press the left mouse button to save the... Oh, we can save the number. Oh, that's so useful. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Um. Okay. Why is he doing that? Robert? Are you okay? Why is your wrist all flimsy? Robert! Robert, what's wrong with you? Robert, answer me. Oh, God. Whoa! Okay. Get, get, get on your feet, man. For the love of God. Get out from here. 
yeah, wouldn't I love to? Okay. So, we also need to conserve our flashlight, it looks like. Oh, no. That's not good. So, this thing's going to run out of battery real fast. That sucks. Well, I really hope that in all of those foot lockers, there's just batteries in them. Oh, no. Dude, get away from me right now. Now she's pissed. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Dude, she gave me she gave me the fake out. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, buddy. Okay. Um, where do you want me to go? Oh, probably to the save room and then close the door would be my guess. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Close the door. Close the door. There we go. Yeah, you're not, you're not doing jack shit if I'm in here. Not a chance. Whew. Okay, we're going to save again. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances on it. Okay. I think everything's okay now? Or probably not. Yeah, oh boy. Okay, so that, that flashlight really does not have a lot of juice on it at all. Okay, so upstairs, there were no Ares doors upstairs. I feel like there's got to be at least one more, though. Do you think that that room that was down in the basement was an Ares door? I feel like it was. Now if I can just remember how to get over to that. Um, really quick, let's just check all these to make sure. We gotta be super, super frugal on using this thing. Okay, so that was that. Oh boy. Yeah, I just got like my adrenaline is just going right now. <laughs> Dude, he, these encounters are crazy, man. That door's blocked off. That one was also blocked off. This one was... Okay, this one was in here. I do remember here well enough. Um, but that's not where we need to go right now. We need to find the way to get into the basement area. Okay, so that's there. Down here. Okay, let's check down here, because there was a door down here. And I am curious as to what was going on here. There's just nothing there. Uh, okay. Just lock from the inside. Okay. Well, at least now we know. Okay. So... Let's find ourselves another Ares door. Because there, there will be another one somewhere. Um, so that is a Taurus door. That's not going to work. Okay, and that's... Oh, there's a five right here. Oh, that's interesting. It says that it's an unspecified position, so we're going to have to try to uh, kind of work around the numbers ourselves here. Interesting. That also means that all of these little dark recesses, we need to really check these out pretty heavily because they're clearly hiding the number that we need. 
in those areas. So, we'll need to check. Uh. Okay. What door just opened and or closed? I hate how quickly this battery on this flashlight is dying. Like, we haven't even really used it that much, and the thing's already basically dead. <laughs> okay, is there anything on the wall here? Oh, no! Okay, okay. God, they are just spying on me from every conceivable angle, aren't they? I like that the light turned on in this hallway now, though. <laughs> okay. So let's let's keep going here. I'm just trying to think of a couple other hallways that are excessively dark. Because that's, that's definitely the key. I do remember there being another one down here somewhere. I remember specifically a hallway down here that was super, super dark. Uh, even this room could also have something. Oh god, that battery is almost gone. Yeah, here, perhaps. Um, nothing. Don't you dare die on me, flashlight. I can't afford to have you being dead already, because that's where the five was. You think there's a number here? I'm not seeing one. God, what door keeps opening when that happens? I keep hearing a door opening or closing, but I don't know which one it is. Okay. Where am I going to find? Where am I going to find these numbers at? It's got to be... So there's two more numbers around. But where am I going to find them? Hmm. Perhaps we need to go back into the area we were just in, maybe? Maybe there's something upstairs? I don't remember seeing any numbers up here, and I don't even think we can go into any of these rooms regardless. Yeah, we can't go in there. That's the wrong door. Both of these doors are blocked. Okay. I wonder if the room with, like, the doll had a number on the wall somewhere. That also seems kind of possible. Uh, let's check the Scorpio room really quick, too. Just to make sure. Okay. Oh, boy. With these puzzles, man, they are something. Um, yep, I guess. Let's check down here again. Probably not gonna... Oh, we need to go in here. That's right. This was definitely a... Oh, wait a minute. That's got the... That symbol on it. Oh, no. Oh, no! Our flashlight doesn't work anymore. <laughs> oh no. Or like it works just a little bit. Come on, give me a little bit of light. So it does give a little bit of light for a minute or two. Okay, 
Well, I'm not seeing any numbers on the wall in here. Which also kind of a bummer. Okay, this 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 does help though, because I know another room uh, that we can get something out of it like that. There was the room. Um, let's see, where we saw the the guy with the the plague mask on or whatever. Um, that was definitely a room that had another really really poorly lit thing going on there. So let's go check that really quick and then we'll probably call it a day for this episode. Okay, this store is stuck. God, I can't wait until we can find a map. That's been bugging me since the very beginning. Just not having not having the map is is a lot. Okay. So, was that area down here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh, we need to go. We need to go. We really need to go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Whew. Okay, I think we escaped it. Are we safe? Okay, we are safe. For now, at least. Whew. Oh, okay. We really, really need to get to wherever that one room was. I just don't remember how to get there. Was it down here? I can't remember where. Oh, you know what? It was right over here. Perfect. Yep, it was right in here. Okay, please give me a little bit of light. A little bit of light. Come on, there's got to be something in here. There's no way that there's nothing in here. Oh, flashlight battery. This is good. Perfect. Okay, now we know that we need to be Super, super frugal with these batteries. Oh no. Okay, yep, we may have uh, made a colossal mistake here. <laughs> that's another flashlight battery. Oh, that's good. Now we can start stockpiling on these. I'm hiding right down here. <laughs> Just for a minute. Because we also need to be looking around for numbers. Okay. Oh, more creepy ass dolls. That's lovely. I really don't like being in this area of the house because there's really nowhere for us to go. Like, it's literally just this hallway is the only place we can go. Let's be very, very careful here. Anything? No. 
about this door. Okay, there's a save room right here. I think that that's going to be the play right now. Let's go get into this room. Let's get safe. Let's uh, save our progress really quick. And then when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play The Conjuring House, we're going to look for those other two... Um, those other two numbers. For right now, we have number two and number five. And there's two more to go so that we can... Um, so that we can unlock the padlock in that back hallway that we were just in. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.